Hey guys, what is going on? It's Fen here again, and today I want to teach you how to remove noise from your videos. Now, it really depends on what equipment you actually have. It will determine whether you need to do this or not. Now, when I started out making videos, I wanted to start doing it, um, you know, I wanted to start doing it professionally and doing it to a high standard that you guys would appreciate. And that means buying stuff such as silent cases to deaden the noise as much as possible from my computer. Buying silent fans to reduce the fan noise. Uh, buying a very decent microphone. Um, I currently use the Blue Yeti microphone. Um, and it's very important that you use a condenser microphone because it has a gain value. Now, the higher the gain, the more audio it will pick up. The lower the gain, the less audio it will pick up. So, because my audio... Um, is pretty clear I don't actually have to remove the noise but some people who can't afford this or who are actually just starting out um, they will use stuff like um, a headset microphone or a very just common desktop microphone um, that isn't a condenser f microphone that doesn't have a gain on it and this will pick up a lot of noise now, you wouldn't know that I have my ceiling fan on right now, and it's it's very loud. Um, I can hear it with my headset on, um, but you can't, and that's because my microphone is pointing directly to my mouth, and the fan is obviously above me, so the noise will not directly travel into the front of the microphone, because one, my big head is blocking it, and two, um, my voice is overpowering that sound, so you will not hear it. Now... I did record with my, my, my headset microphone just to show you um, what it actually sounds like and the amount of noise and static that comes from using a headset microphone. Now, there's different methods of recording your audio. I like to use Fraps built-in recording because I don't like to sync up my audio uh, with my video. Um, so. There's, I mean, it's entirely up to you what method you want to use. I like to use Fraps, and what we want to do is we want to import our audio into Audacity. Now, if you already use Audacity to record your voice and you like to sync up, then you're going to skip this part, uh, because all we are basically doing is taking our file, our AVI file that Fraps produces, and dragging and dropping it into uh, Audacity. Now... One thing to note, if you've never done this before, um, Audacity will give you an error saying you don't have the correct codex. Um, just follow the link, download the correct codex, which are in your libraries. It's lame MP3 and it's FFmpeg. These are the two you need to actually import AVI into Audacity. So what I'm going to do is show you the ups and downs about doing this. Now this file is 71 gigs, it's 36 minutes and it's one of my Diablo videos. So I'm going to drag this in and this is going to take a while. This is going to take about 10-15 minutes to actually import into Audacity so we can actually edit the audio. Now this can take a long time, sometimes longer than re-rendering the video out in a smaller file such as maybe 700 MB. Obviously 700 MB is way smaller than 71 gigs. So it depends which method you want to use. Now, I do recommend if you do have big files over 20 gigs, re-render them out. So what you want to do is you want to go into your editing program of choice. Mine happens to be Premiere. Grab your file, drag it into your timeline. So this is what we have here. And then turn off your video. You do not need to render out your video. Now, a lot of people will render out the video and it'll just take as long as render it out normally. Um, it, it's very, you, you don't need to do it basically, so turn it off or you can unlink it and delete it, it's entirely up to you, you just don't need it, all we want is the audio file, and audio is very small so it will render out extremely fast, so if you have a 30 minute um, video recording it will take, you know, a quarter of the time the full video would actually take, um, so render that out, once you've got that all sorted it will be wherever you put it, um, mine happens to be a folder here, so basically what you want to do is you want to um, drag and drop your file into Fraps, either your re-rendered one out with just your audio or your uh, Fraps one, does it really matter? And as soon as this imports, as you can see this is only a 10 second clip and it's taken a little while. So, you know, your own discretion, use whichever you think is best.
So I'm going to play this audio clip for you guys. Three, two, one. Hey guys, what is going on? It's Fen here, and today I'm going to teach you how to actually remove noise from your microphone. So, as we can hear at the beginning here, we have a long, a long sound, and it's just static. Why is that? It's because I didn't start talking right away. It's very important that you leave a one to four second, just silent sound, um, so basically when you come to remove the noise you've got something to use as a profile now the reason we don't talk in this section is because we want um, to basically gather all the background noise such as static fan noises all that type of thing try not to bang your table or cough or anything like that because any really high pitches in sound like this here it will start to mess up later down the road when you actually come to remove um, noise from your actual vocals so, as you can hear, the audio isn't as good as what you are hearing now. So, again, there's only so much you can actually do with the equipment that you use. So, don't be disheartened if you're using a headset microphone and your audio isn't as good as perhaps mine, for example. That's because I'm using a completely different equipment to you. And therefore, in, in just to be frank, it's better than a headset microphone. So... You know, you really need to um, know the difference between that. You need to know what your expectations are out of the equipment you are using. So what we need to do is we need to select this um, blank area with just the static and background noise, fan noises, all that type of thing, and go to Effects, Noise Removal. Now we want to get a profile. What section of audio do we want to use to remove it from everywhere? Well, we want this silent bit. That's why we've got a silent bit. So get noise um, profile and then we want to select all, control A to select all and then go to effects, noise removal and then click OK. And it will remove the noise, it will go through and remove all them high pitches from everywhere. Now if we press play again from the start. 3, 2, 1. Hey guys, what is going on? It's Fen here and today I'm going to teach you how to actually remove noise from your microphone. Now, as you can see, the, the static noise that we heard at the beginning, the hissing type of noise, has completely gone. But our actual audio has gotten a little bit less. It's, it's a little bit drowned out. It's, it doesn't have the oomph or the bass in it um, that you're actually hearing now. But again, you've got to respect what you can get from what you are using. So I would call this acceptable. Now, if it's too much drowned out for you and you'd like a little bit of the umph back, then you could actually undo that and go to effects. We actually want to just hear it. So if we select a bit of our audio and go to noise removal, and let's maybe reduce this to, uh, let's say, 7, and then preview. Hey guys, what is going on? It's Fen here, and today I'm going to teach you how... So it's not bad, but you can hear a lot more of the noise, so we need to find that magic number. So let's try 11. Hey guys, what is going on? It's Fen here, and today I'm going to teach you how... So it's not bad, you can barely hear it, so let's go up to maybe 12. Hey guys, what is going on? It's Fen here, and today I'm going to teach you how... Okay, I'm happy with 12. So I'm going to select it all again, and then go to Effect, Noise Removal, and I'm going to type in 12. And then click OK. And then that's going to be pretty good. It's going to be acceptable to put out there because hearing static throughout a video is completely annoying and it will not want people to watch it. Um, audio is so important in a video. Now, if we go into noise removal again, you will see there's a lot of different um, you know, options here to choose from, such as sensitivity, uh, frequency smoothing, um, attack um, delay. Uh, sorry, decay and uh, time sex. I mean, I don't really play with these. I kind of leave them as default. Um, but just play around, and you will find something that suits you. Um, you know, I can't tell you the magic settings because there is no magic settings. Everything will be different from each audio recording. Different microphones, you know, different sensitivities. It depends on on how high your microphone boost is on that type of thing. Um, so you know. Using a headset microphone, not the best thing, but if that's what you've got, that's what you've got. Um, but if you do want to do this professionally, try get a condenser microphone. They are so much better. 
So guys, I hope this um, helped. Um, if it did, please um, share it with your friends. And make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And while you're at it, you might as well subscribe. So guys, thank you, and I will catch you in the next episode of these tips and tricks. Peace.